The Petroleum Regulatory Agency was established by an Act of Parliament in 2014 with a statutory instrument in 2016 to grant, license and regulate the petroleum downstream in Sierra Leone. These include importation, storage, transportation, retailing, refinery, jetty and bunkering. The agency supports the president's new direction agenda which demand high value of professionalism, compliance and transparency to make the industry a compelling place for investment. The president, in his state opening of parliament, highlighted the rigorous transformation the agency has undergone under the stewardship of the executive chairman, Brahma Balua Koroma. Even through COVID-19, the Petroleum Regulatory Agency is constructing a second petrol jetty, maintained an open market policy, developed a new tank, a new tank farm to hold strategic stock, introduced guidelines for downstream activities, maintained price stability based on transparent pricing formula in spite of supply chain disruptions, and significantly improved petroleum revenue and service delivery in the downstream petroleum sector. The Petroleum Regulatory Agency is a member of the World Petroleum Council and the Africa Refinery Association. Since his appointment by His Excellency the President Dr. Julius Madabio in 2018, Brahma Balwa Koroma has worked extensively to establish the petroleum sector even through the COVID-19 pandemic. The agency has opened up the sector and this has attracted much investment of recent is the APP. The government policy to open up the sector has yielded a lot of fruits. For instance, We've had large investors coming on board in the sector, including the APP. The APP has currently invested about $25 million in upgrading the storage capacity. That will give us about additional 60,000 metric tons within the industry. We also have Kunex coming in that has already taken over and they have investment plan of about $50 million. That is to improve their current storage facility to 15,000 metric tons. Addition. We are also expecting additional players coming to the sector. Because of the current transition this sector is facing, the existing players are also quickly coming up to realization that they also need to change. We have a big giant like a NP. NP is also developing a modern country that will have six loading arms simultaneously. NP is investing about 25 to 30 million US dollars in this sector in terms of technology and modern instruments within the sector. We are also having uh, Leon Oil. At the moment, Leon Oil has the single largest uh, storage in the country, and they are also having the most sophisticated technology in terms of uh, uh, petrol industries concerned with Israel Leon. So our existing players are currently maintaining and capitalizing in improving their strength and developing and harnessing technologies to help uh, growth within the sector. So we are still looking for additional players to ensure that we meet the demand of Australians because we have moved from 900,000 litres per day to 1.3 million litres per day. So this sector is a great sector, a very promising sector. What we want to do is want Australia to become the hub for West Africa, the hub for the Maritime Union because we have the investment climate, we have the government that is investment sensitive and we are encouraging investors that any $1 that is brought into Australia will be protected. This sector, the petroleum sector, is a very important sector for Sierra Leone in that then they create jobs and then they contribute to revenue generation. And also more importantly, than one of the most essential commodities that we every country take very seriously and the presence here today and for sending a strong message to the oil marketing company say we take us seriously we care about our work and we will provide support for us and we want to make us take advantage of that support we government they provide for this sector for the, the, all the companies they work as one so that they will ensure the stability of supply, sustained petroleum supply and very effective and competitive prices for the consumers that are the ordinary Sredonians. 
The petroleum sector has remained very crucial in contributing to revenue generation in the country, with a target of transforming the sector to a one trillion sector annually.